thousand gone, a thousand to go. The final of the men's coxed for Croatia, Germany, Romania, that order. Great Britain are in uh, sixth place. We're sixth and 500. And we remain. It's all about now in this third 500 meters. Just pushing on. These boys have done well though. There's the uh, British boat. Piece of rudge there in the bow, in the cox seat. Coming down, Chris Martins, Henry Adams, Alex Partridge, Dan Newsley in the straight seat. Now the British boys have got to really push hard in this third 500. Well, they've got the fast man, the fast crew, Croatia, on their outside there. They've got two fast crews that should really be drawing them along. Croatia, though, really took it from the start. They've got right out, looking very, very good and strong out in lane one. Quite difficult to race the outside lanes because you feel a little bit lonely doing a good job out there. And here on closest to us, Romania doing the same. Very good on lane six, and they're up with the leaders. Croatia, lane one, top of the pitcher, are leading France. Now, France were the race favourites here. And France really came into their own in the heat in the last 500 metres. They had a blistering sprint for the line. Three and four there, Italy and France. Stroke for stroke as we come to the last timing point. It's 1,500 metres approaching where the crews will start to sprint now for the line. Up in the left-hand corner, we see the blue and white boat of Great Britain. So Great Britain now are still struggling towards the back. They're fifth in the pack. The caption there is not right there, but what is right is that Croatia are out front. Now this is where the race gets exciting because we can see, look at that, four boats across. We have Croatia, Italy, France and Romania all battling it out now for the gold medal. Let's hope that Great Britain can stay on the tails here now. The British boys have to really just enjoy themselves. They're in this final. They could get and sneak a medal here. The British boys have got to raise it up now. They're on 37 strokes per minute. It's about sprinting for the line. They are doing well, that British sport. They are doing really well. They could have got dropped there. They could. The heads could have gone down, but they've got they stuck in there and they are still there hunting down Croatia. It's now France who've just hit the, head, uh, the lead, Italy chasing them, but Britain now could squeeze Croatia. Croatia beginning to fall back. 250 metres remain now, there are three boats out in front. France just lead from Italy, Croatia now are going to get tired. Great Britain have to focus on Croatia. You've got to put all your energies onto them, rowing them down every single stroke. We're in fourth place, we're running out of uh, course here, but out front, Italy now starting to squeeze back. Italy and France, Italy and France, Croatia are hanging on, Great Britain have got to find just a little bit more spirit, 75 metres remain and this is a fantastic race for the gold medal because France have now found something, Italy are pushing back, Croatians are dying to rise up to it but on the line, in the white boat, Italy get it over, France get it over Italy and Great Britain, we were just watching, Great Britain get the bronze medal, we rode them down on the line absolutely fantastic well that was a great great piece of rowing from them and here we just have a look at the uh, the replay there do they get it on the surge oh just i think they, they get it. it by a foot they've got it by they a foot got it. what a fantastic job well done dan Oosley. great piece of stroking now great britain have just seen it again they've seen the screen and there's confirmation france first italy second and great britain well they stole the bronze medals on the line